Hey everybody. So here's what's going on. I've decided to take my old defunct Robinhood account that I have not used ever since the um, the GameStop fiasco where Robinhood uh, started limiting buys on like GameStop and AMC and all those meme stocks, basically halting momentum for those. We all know that was a um, pretty crappy thing to do. So this morning I woke up, I still had $4.32 in that account. So I added 30 bucks to it so I could uh, make a couple of uh, risky plays. All right, so here's the Robinhood account here, investing 34.32. So you can see I added 30 bucks to it. So we're starting off with $34.32. You can even see for the last three months and even farther than that, I've not made a single move with this because I basically boycotted Robinhood after all that crap happened. However, it's become quite apparent to me that Robinhood still has a lot of fanboys. Um, Robinhood has since IPO'd and now they're a publicly traded company. So they're not going away. So what's the point in continuing to boycott them? So I'm gonna take this account with this $34.32 and I'm going to see if I can turn it into $1,000, $2,000, a million dollars. The whole idea of this subset of videos is just gonna to be to see if I can create a lot of wealth with a little bit of money, making a little more riskier of a trade set than I would usually do. So the first thing that I've gone for is a couple of options contracts that I feel are very cheap, but there's also a reason why these options contracts are cheap. It's because of the condition that the stock is in, which we'll talk about in just a second. And I'm not gonna go entirely in depth with that because this isn't about, uh, this isn't really about due diligence. This isn't about you know investigating the history of companies. I'm just here to say, can I turn this into that? Back to my Robinhood account really quick. And if we go down here, you can see the options that I've chosen. I have chosen uh, Sundial Growers as the uh, company that I bought options in. I bought $1 contracts for um, January of next year. And then I bought $1.50 contracts for April of the following year. Both of those I paid 12 cents a piece for, well, 12 cents for 100 contracts. So $12 per contract. So I put $24 in. And basically what I'm showing you right here is the uh, the chart history for Sundial Growers. Um, I've drawn the top line from full candlesticks, no wicks, down across the top for resistance. And then you can see that there's a very good bit of support for um, Sundial Growers right around the 65 cent mark. Don't pay attention to this number if you can even see it because uh, it's a little bit off, but... Right at 65 cents, I'm looking at double bottom if it comes back down and touches 65 again right here. But you can see action is definitely consolidating, getting really tight, and I do expect a big move either up or down. If price action breaks to the downside, once again, that key level I'm looking at is 65 cents. If 65 cents breaks and it does not confirm double bottom, I'm gonna be out. But obviously, because I placed my bets on Sundial Growers to break to the upside, that's the reason why I bought those contracts. And those contracts that only cost 12, you know, 12 bucks a piece could end up being quite lucrative if uh, Sundial Growers takes another move like they have in the past where volume pours in and price skyrockets. Plus the whole sector, the whole cannabis sector is really beaten down anyway. So I do expect a big move one way or another. But anyway, like I said, this is not about Sundial Growers. This is about me turning $34.32 or whatever the total was into whatever I can turn it into. Now, for those of you subscribers that uh, tune into this channel regularly, you're probably wondering, why am I doing a stock trading uh, video? Because that's completely unlike anything I ever do. This channel is about health and wellness, but it's also about financial freedom. And this is a way that a lot of people, I mean, if you, if you take the time to, to study it and learn it and learn charting, uh, learn how to read company financials and things like that. Stock trading is a very good way you can sit on your butt at the house and make money. What I'm doing here is just sharing another method to get you closer to financial freedom if you choose to follow this channel for that reason. I'm gonna give regular updates on the moves that I made. Hopefully things work out for me and hopefully I don't uh, lose everything I just put in. Uh, if so, it was only 24 bucks. So it's not that big a deal, right? See you guys in the next video. Thank you.